The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Imagine your 12-year-old child asks you about your personal sex life. Pretty mortifying, right? Well, here's what happened when one mom was faced with this very question. A 12-year-old boy may have gotten more than he bargained for when his curiosity led him to learn details about his parents' sex life. He boldly asked his mother, how often do you and dad have sex? The mother, thinking honesty was the best policy, replied, once or twice a week, I guess. But after her son seemed disgusted by the conversation, she sought advice on a popular online parenting message board. Many people who commented were outraged and criticized her for discussing her sex life with her child while others commended her for her honesty. So is sharing personal details about your sex life with your kids a healthy conversation? Or did this mom take honesty a little too far? I'm seeing different reactions. Uh, it's a tough situation. What should a parent do in this situation? Because if your kid literally sits there and says, hey, mom, how often do you and dad have sex? Wow. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's the spot that we don't want to be put in. Here's the thing, guys, listen. I encourage parents to talk about sex with their kids. I really want them to be open and comfortable with it. I want to reduce the stigma. I want to take the shame out of it. However, this is TMI. Too much information. So let's get back to, hey mom, how often do you and dad have sex? What do you do? Ready? You don't tell them. Right, but what, do, what do you do? You don't well, you talk about You go, son, sex. every you time don't... I go into the bedroom and lock the door, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> How about this for an answer? That's private between me and your father. Yeah. That's right? very appropriate. That's private between me and your father. I think oh, right? that is, I think but that's, that's he's great. Got all but the at answers. the same time, you, you flip it though because you make sure you say, well, we won't talk about that. However, you can still have a conversation about it's sex. A beautiful because segue. I think that some parents feel that talking about sex meaning means that they're parenting without values yeah. and nothing can be further from the truth. You definitely want to let your kids know that safety is non negotiable, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you want to empower empower them in regards to their sexuality because we know that research shows, for example, young girls who don't know the proper terminology for their genitalia, they're less likely to report sexual abuse. So you have to have the conversation because knowledge is power, but it's about teaching your kids about boundaries because why is your kid comfortable asking that? Yeah.